Mike for having that harebrained idea in the first place, <laughs> and Mary for this beautiful home, and Kevin for just jumping in, and how are, just uh, so many other people. Gabriella so generously offered immediately to speak here and talk about the what county recorders are supposed to be doing. Yep. Yeah. And thank goodness for her and her work. And Rex, and I'm just, I'm very humbled by being here, truly. So thank you. And um, I'm sure I'm missing thanking someone, probably my husband who's um, <laughs> out there. But uh, thank you, Al, and, and Karen, and others so much. Um, we, well, we're near a golf course, so I'm going to start by saying, and I don't play golf myself, but forgive me. A golfer is swinging and missing repeatedly in a sand trap at the ball, and ants and sand flying all over the place. And one ant says to the other, we can survive this, but we have to get on the ball. <laughs> Expected, right? And we expect uh, people to go down swinging, but we have to take up this fight because it is just that important. It is just that important to make elections boring again. Yes. Yeah, I really like that. Um, we, we have to do it because so much is at stake. Our democracy, our, you know, really it's our civilization. Um, the way in which we are able to civilly conduct business that we need to conduct in order to get to the real issues that we need to address together, working together and not at one another's throats all the time. And I find going through Cochise County, I just, um, I mean, we, we are a wonderful, beautiful county, but when people are so so focused on are you an R or a D? That's that's the question I get all the time. And if, if I say, you know, I'm an American, I'm an American first, and I'm so glad to be talking with another American. And actually, I've been a Republican, and I happen what? to be a Democrat. Yeah, <laughs> I've been a Republican, and I happen to be a Democrat, and I happen to be conservative on a lot of issues. So I'm very middle of the road on a lot of issues. I like arguing with Democrats and Republicans about issues. But I will leave my personal politics at the door yeah. of this office in yeah. order so that people have confidence in elections and continue to. And we all should have confidence in elections mm -hmm. because they're done really well. Yeah. Perfect. They're perfect in Cochise County. According even to some extremists, they're perfect. So what is going on? Why is there this deception, this disinformation campaign about our elections. It's, it's, I was telling someone tonight, I've just been spending so much time this year saying, oh, for heaven's sakes, every time, every time something else happens. I mean, it's ridiculous. We don't need to spend our time that way. Um, Getting back to the whole swinging uh, of, of golf clubs thing, uh, I wanted to get back there because uh, I come from a very strict Roman Catholic family, pre-Vatican II family, right? My mother wishes that we still had masses in Latin and that women still covered their heads in, in mass. and. Uh, my parents also um, were all about corporal punishment. And I have to say, my parents are lovely, lovely people. They're still alive, and um, you know, I, I owe everything to them. I just love them dearly. But all about corporal punishment. And uh, anyone relate to that, by the way? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, I'm not alone. Um, and it was a sign of the times, really. Um, and, and, 
they were raised that way, and they were frankly exhausted by having to raise six kids close in age. Uh, very spirited children, I might add. And um, anyway, so my mom was her her tool of enlightenment was chair runs. So I'm used to ducking and covering, okay, and I, I know how to do that. But I learned some things from them and from that way of of upbringing that is important that are important to me still um, like first of all learn the law right yeah. Yeah. know what you can and cannot do that's really important and I, I just I cannot believe that some of the things that um, that I'm seeing in Cochise County are just so far afield of what our laws say mm. it is outrageous yes um, I'm glad you're not in Mississippi <laughs> so um, another another thing, not always did was there a, a very clear law with my parents because they were exhausted, as I say. They were both teachers initially. My dad was in the Army Reserves um, and exhausted. And uh, so sometimes they would say to me things like, um, you know, do it because I said so, or just do it. And I should add that Nike, you know, came after, after this, put their own spin on it. But in any event, it leads to lesson two from that kind of upbringing, that I just don't want to go back to being governed by arbitrariness, mm -hmm. where we can't hold our elected officials accountable right. because they're making up stuff for themselves. That's outrageous, yeah. unacceptable, untenable. Um, so, in Cochise County, we have had four election directors in less than a year. We're on our fourth now. Our fifth, if you consider the time that our um, general manager, or our county manager, stepped in to, to take over. So, one of the guys who was hired, the last guy who just left, was hired apparently because he was an extremist, and he was hired by David Stevens. He was spreading disinformation online and paid an exorbitant amount of money, and when he left, ironically, he said it was too toxic, even for him. <laughs> in an interview and that is just that's just wrong we have had nine lawsuits and about election related lawsuits in about as many months in our county and it's costing us a fortune because sometimes we have to pay for both sides yeah that's unacceptable we have had David Stevens's office when he was the acting election director weaponizing the elections office against people who were simply circulating a petition in order to get Tom Crosby recalled. Yeah. And he called the sheriff's department on them, four cars surrounded them, he had his information wrong about where they were, even what the property was that they were on, and as Gabriella and probably all of us know, he had all of that information at his fingertips. Yeah. He, he had no business going after these people, but he showed up and was trying to get them arrested. Thank goodness the deputies down there did their job and backed off. He has violated procurement law. He has violated public records law. He has disenfranchised people. In another uh, instance of petition gatherers, he gave them the wrong information, and they, they couldn't go forward with their petition. He has put the wrong dates on for deadlines of when people can register to vote. This is serious business. He has, he has pushed bad ideas, and, and Mike mentioned some of them. It's, uh, and, and expensive ideas. Uh, we, we purchased a dandy roll in order to make this new ballot paper, and we purchased a couple hundred thousand dollars for the dandy roll and ballot paper, which, you know, what is that about? 
Um, and of course, one of the people who would take over the creation of new ballots is an associate of Mark Fincham's and of David <coughs> Stevens. So there's a question about corruption. And anyway, the point is, I hate arbitrariness. I don't want to be governed by that form of law. And we have to stop this. We have to get on the ball. So um, the, the, the other lesson, the other lesson is that we can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. And so I'm, I'm just truly humbled being here. Um, obviously, this, this group is, is on the ball being here. Yes. Uh, we are. Um, we have, um, I'm, I, I just thank you, um, and, uh, I don't know if there's anything else I need to say, you're really. You're welcome, yeah. <laughs> thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. We owe you a great, a great set of gratitude for stepping up. I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. I want to remind you that our orchestra is all volunteer, tips are accepted, and Crystal Munia is our server. She also is accepting tips, so please uh, tip out your server. Uh, and I promised everybody a toast, and here it comes. Uh, keying off what our great recorder, Casares Kelly, said, 14 out of 15? No, no. Raise your glass to 15 out of 15. Yeah.